Hello, I'm Artifacts of Mars, and in my YouTube wanderings, I ran across the Richard Allen show. His guest was Kevin Barrett, who is a convertee to Islam. Now, the title here is Shocking to See Some Alternative Media Outlets Spreading Islamophobia. I mean, we can't report on what's going on. There's been one. Islamic attack after another in this country, and you're sitting there denying this even happening, which means you're a classic liberal. Richie Allen is a classic liberal, too. He's from the UK. Mega, mega liberal, apparently. Uh, he believes that there was uh, A false flag aspect to 9-11, which I do too. But I still think there were Muslims involved in that. Even though there is a false flag aspect to it. I think people knew, people in our government knew that was coming. That's getting aside. First they talked about uh, no-go areas in London. And they denied that. That's actually fairly well known that there are places where you don't go if you're not a Muslim. Uh, I don't want to get too much into that. That's pretty controversial, actually. But let's take a look at this. Anyway, this is a related topic. They're called Sharia patrols. Hang on, computer's not being cooperative. See, this thing's Sharia law on the streets of London. This is from the Guardian UK. Uh, talks about who yelled at uh, a couple people hold hands where, uh, this is a Muslim area, and that, plus the fact that it's well known that Shri is working its way into courts, both in the UK and here. Uh, it says, name is Josh, Jordan Hol Hormer. Ricardo McFarlane, a 20-year-old man that cannot be named for legal reasons, that's bullshit, had terrorized a couple from walking through Bethnal Green holding hands, told a woman in Stepney who said she would be punished in hellfire by the way she was dressed and attacked a group of men who were drinking in Shoreditch. So the bottom line here is that it's claiming that Iran has a great uh, civil rights record. Can you believe this? Hang on. Okay, so this uh, brainiac Kevin Barrett sits there and says that uh, Iran is this beautiful, sparkling place where uh, human rights are respected and they are freer than we are and oh my god uh... the truth is well he also claims there's no homosexuals being executed which is blatant now don't lie uh, homosexual act activists Activists estimate that some 4,000 alleged homosexuals have been executed by Iran since its 1979 Islamic Revolution. Basically, they find out you're a homosexual, they'll throw you off the roof, they'll chop off your head, whatever. And, of course, Iran is uh, working... Um, nuclear missiles and all that. While well, Obama goes out golfing. So, 
So there we have denial by a mentally disordered liberal. I'm gonna put this on hold again. We'll take a look at some more uh, Iran stuff. Uh, Breitbart has so many uh, videos and everything else on it. It kind of wreaks havoc on my computer. Hang on. Now there's that Kevin Barrett site. It accidentally closed out. Uh, the other uh, tab. Problem is, Breitbart causes all sorts of problems on my computer. Uh, this computer does not like Shockwave Flash whatsoever. It always screws up. It screws up constantly. Anyway, here's Truth Jihad How at dot com. Kevin Barrett is a Muslim, according to uh, that Richie Allen. And, of course, he's sitting there denying there's ever any problem with Muslims. And he went out, he, in the video he goes and says, well, they're uh, setting Muslims up for a scapegoat. Actually, it's whites that are being set up for a scapegoat. If you look at it, it's white shaming, white guilt stuff. That's called scapegoating. Same thing Nazis did. The truth is that American liberals are aligned with Islamics. It may not be a formal alliance, I don't know, but they do work together in de facto, at least. So... This is a... Mentally disordered, you know, mental disorder of liberalism, basically. Now, let's take a look at what prophet, so-called prophet Muhammad stood for. I refuse to call him a prophet. Uh, Muhammad was born in the most powerful tribe in Mecca, the Quraysh around... 570 A.D., the power of the Quraysh derived from their, from their roles with successful merchants. They are basically pagans. Uh, there's two polytheistic cults whose gods were thought to protect the lucrative trade. And it says when Muhammad was about 40... He began having visions, meaning hallucinations, and hearing voices, meaning more hallucinations. Searching for clarity, you sometimes meditate at Mount Hira near Mecca. On one of these occasions, Archangel Angel Gabriel appeared to him and instructed him to recite in the name of your Lord. Initially overwhelmed by the significance of what he what was revealed to him, Muhammad began, found him flinching his sport and his wife and began slowly to attract his followers. His strong monotheistic message angered many of the Meccan merchants. They were afraid that trade, which they believed was protected by the pagan gods, would suffer. From that point on forward, Muhammad was ostracized in Mecca. For a time, the influence and status of his wife and his uncle, Abu Talib, the chief of the clan, protected Muhammad from persecution. After they died, however, Muhammad's situation in Mecca became dire. So, whole religion is based on hallucinations, basically. Go figure. And... Uh, he basically struck out and began a war with the world that uh, exists to this day. Islam is at war with the world. And there's no denying it. I mean, he spread the message of Islam 
not through uh, peaceful coexistence and gentle persuasion, but with the blade. Amazing that a guy believed in uh, the Archangel Gabriel. So, getting back to Kevin Barrett, and you can look up the history of Muhammad for yourself, but getting back to these two, they're mentally disordered liberals, they're denying that there's a problem, even though we've had one Islamic attack after another in this country and elsewhere, and they're still denying that there's a problem. This is what I can't stand, it just drives me up the wall. Uh, so, uh, you two, you're on my, uh, mental disorder of liberalism list. Your video is too bad. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.